Welcome to the Career Academy. And thank you guys so much for coming to visit us and see what we do and what we offer to skill. Very excited to know what we're doing at this school and what we can do for young people, how we make young people job ready as well as college ready. So welcome to our school and come on in. Hi, I'm Sonia Lewis. I'm the school counselor here for the Career Academy and Technical School and the I Academy. And I work with our students who are in our partnership with homeschools in Iredale County, helping them to finish out high school, figure out what they're gonna do with the rest of their life, go to college, go to work, go to the military, all those things. Be Holcomb. I'm the bookkeeper, data manager here at CATS. Um, that means I do the finance part, the payroll part, um, and I also do the student records part and help parents when they need help uh, looking at grades and, and that kind of thing, uh, and update the students' records. I work closely with the guidance counselor and with the front office, and I try real hard to help the teachers get what they need when they need it when it comes to supplies or uh, information or anything like that. So I'm Lavinia Cope, or Lee Cope, and I am the OCS um, coordinator or EC specialist for the OCS program, the Occupational Course of Study. Um, I assist our teachers with any curriculum needs they have or compliance needs as it relates to IEPs and interagency connections um, in the community as our students transition to life post high school. Hi, I'm Joni Winterkamp with Iowa State School Schools and the Career Center. I'm the district work-based learning coordinator for our district, which means I take care of our district um, internships, apprenticeships, and co-ops for our school here. Um, I also take care of the CTE classes and the teachers and help with testing and um, work with students all over the place and we welcome you to our school. Come on in and meet our culinary teacher and some of our students. Remember that we're in COVID-19, so we split this class, so that's why we have uh, low numbers and, and we have a few that's not here today. So come on in and meet my culinary teacher and I'll let her introduce herself. Okay. Uh, let me, I can do this. Yeah. Hi, I'm Laverne Zachary. I'm the culinary instructor here at CATS. How are you doing? And welcome to my class. Uh, this is my afternoon class. It's a bit small, a few I'm missing. But uh, right now we're studying the flow of food and, and uh, food sanitation. So the first part of my, the year we do a lot of book work because we have to know how to conduct ourselves in the kitchen. So welcome. This is our dining room, restaurant dining room. It, it's confusing because most people who come here think this is our cafeteria. We do not serve lunch at this school. We run... Uh, Shifts. I call it shift. We don't do blocks. Uh, you either come here first shift or second shift. First shift is from 8 to 11. Second shift is from 12 to 3. If you notice around the wall, uh, you see lights up on in the ceiling that look out of place. There are supposed to be booths there to represent a restaurant. Uh, and we will be putting booths in to, to, to identify this room clearly as a restaurant dining room. Okay, if you'll come on with me, we'll go through and we'll look at the kitchen. We have a commercial kitchen. All of our equipment is up to date because when we train students, we want them to be job ready. We don't want them to have much of a learning curve when they go to work. Come on in. You can notice over here, we have a beverage station and uh, you come on down, and as you can see, this is a, a huge kitchen. It's a great kitchen with updated equipment, so our kids are very familiar when they go out into the job market. Uh, they're familiar with the equipment before they get there. All of our equipment is up to date, and they do an excellent job when they're out here doing labs, preparing food for students, for themselves, and sometimes they do a, some catering for outside agencies. Rogers, um, these are our nursing fundamental students. They will be CNAs 
whenever they get finished with the course and pass the state exam. Right now, we are going through some practice skills. They've learned a total of 69 skills. They will have at least 23 of those to choose from when they go to state that they will be giving. Everyone in the state will do hand washing and then they will do four others that are picked at random by the computer. These ladies have done extremely well. I just put them through one set already and they've got these down pat. Now we're gonna go for some more. Uh, the good thing about this is these young ladies can get out of school, get a job, and make 11 to $19 an hour according to what time and where they work. So I think we've got some good candidates. I want them to be able to take care of me when I get old. So we're very proud of this program. And by coming here as a high school student, instead of going to Mitchell College, and I'm not putting Mitchell down, but it's about $400. So here is what, $100 back for your scrubs and shoes and everything? So it's economical too. And now get ready to enter a manicuring class. Come on in and get your nails done while you're here. Uh, this is a manicuring class, and that's our teacher, Miss Haynes. Miss Haynes, come forward and talk a little bit about this program and how proud you are to have these students and how proud you are of the program. This is a great program. Um, as you see, we've got graduates up here on the, the board. Um, it's a stepping stone for their career. Um, another thing is it's offered for the junior and senior year. The Mitchell Community College. You can see them working right now on a general new project. And when you get your 300 hours, you get to go test for the board. So you actually get a license. Um, this is a great program. We have um, men and women, we hope, continue with the program. A lot of the girls even go into cosmetology and aesthetics. Once they get their license, they get out there and work in a salon. And they love it, so they continue their education. So again, it's a stepping stone for a new career. I'm Tanya Tapazio. I'm the teacher of television and film production here at the Career Academy and a new class of Intro to Animation in the springtime. This is our television studio. Uh, the students use this uh, as a lighting area to learn lighting and photography. They use it as a sound stage when they do their short films. We've done some broadcast stuff out of here. We've done some um, talk shows, a weekly talk show, Cat's Couch, uh, that we have done out of this studio. So this is kind of an all-purpose area for the students to come and explore in a uh, environmentally safe environment. So all of the high schools in the district uh, offered the Adobe courses in graphic design and introduction to video editing, but here at CATS we're the only ones that actually have a traditional filmmaking, photography, and now intro to animation course that the students can really just dive in and work on building their portfolio with special projects. In the film class, students have to create their own short uh, movie. And these are some of the movies over the years that the students have created. Not only do they have to create the movies, but they also have to do the marketing piece. If you will notice, it is marketing just like when you go to the movie and you see what a movie is all about. And again, these are some that we have done. Now we're going to enter the I Academy. The I Academy is a program that we created about six years ago that... Uh, <laughs> that partner with homeschool parents. And these are parents who, in some cases, have never, their child's never attended public school. Uh, and so what we've done is create a partnership where they can continue to do public school online and do the homeschool. The carrot for them is, I think, what's important is, it also allows homeschool students who are strictly homeschooled to partner with us and if they take three courses with us, their child will be able to participate in school athletics. And they also have the opportunity to, to be able to take some, some CTE courses when they enroll in the I Academy. That is the success of our, of our Academy. We're able to offer some things that they necessarily would not be able to get uh, strictly at a home school but they can come with us and stay and maintain their homeschool license and do the homeschool studies as well as public school studies. Welcome to our Fire Academy. This is a very exciting program for young people who are interested in fire service. And today we have the class in the background. We've got the chief here 
and Chief, tell them about this program, how successful this program is. Okay. Well, we're training these young high school kids to be firefighters when they leave high school. We follow the, the guidelines of the Office of State Fire Marshal, which includes all of our training, our certifications. Uh, we do hands-on. We do classroom work. Uh, as we go along, they'll get to go ride along with the paid fire department, see how they operate. And hopefully, whenever they graduate, they will be able to go to a paid department and become paid firefighters. And I've had about nine so far leave my class and go and become paid firefighters at uh, different departments across the state. So we've been very successful. Welcome to the Automotive Technology Center. Come on in and let me show you around. See some of the wonderful things that our students are doing. As you can see in Skills uh, USA, we won numerous of trophies. And in, in, in Skills USA, you can see all the hardware display. Come on into the shop and meet some of the guys and students. We have a great partnership with, with uh, NASCAR Tech. You can see we have some of their vehicles on display that we use. This shop is designed exactly like a dealership and we train our students so that when they go to work for the dealerships everything is very familiar all our equipment here is up to date because we do a couple of things we can make students job ready and we can also prepare them to go on to higher education this is our parts department and we have a partnership with AutoZone and Students not only get the opportunity to work on cars, but they also have the opportunity to learn how to work in a parts department in the automotive industry. To show you the great partnerships we have with this department, this is an automobile that was donated to us by Randy Marion Ford. Uh, they donated this vehicle to us last year, and this is a vehicle that we use to train students on modern technology of the automobile. Service uh, auto shop. We have a balance. We have a uh, tie changer. And these are old pieces that we have. As equipment change, we change also. This is a new uh, tie balancer that we got a couple of years ago. And this is the same type of equipment that they're using in the automobile shops now. We also have a road force balancer, and uh, you know it's unusual for a high school to have this type of equipment. But what we understand is that if we don't have the proper equipment, we cannot properly train our students for the workforce. As you can see, we are a safety inspection station. We're the only school, to my knowledge. That, that offer safety inspection. But the unique thing about this, this is a partnership with Mitchell Community College, and our students are able to get certified to do safety inspection. What a wonderful opportunity, because if they walk into a dealership and they got this certification, chances are they're gonna get hired. But what's more interesting is this, is that my instructors through Mitchell Community College certify all the people out in the community who work at dealership. They come here at night and get certified at this school to be able to do safety inspections. And that's the people from Random Marion all over. We're the certifying uh, school that certify people to be safety inspectors. I would like to introduce you to one of the automotive technology instructors. Must, uh, I'm Shane Fox, uh, one of the instructors here at the Idle States of Schools Auto Tech Center. Uh, got some students here today working on a Ford uh, Expedition. We've had a spark plug blow out of it. We're going to do a, a thread repair on it. Uh, just one of the many repairs we do here at the Tech Center. Uh, we do most anything from basic maintenance all the way up to major repairs. Here we have another project going on with students working on a vehicle, and I like this automotive instructor to introduce himself and tell you what's going on here. 
Hey, I'm Justin Bennett. I'm one of the automotive instructors here at CATS, and I'm working with this student here. He's had an electrical problem for, I think, about a year on this truck, yeah. and uh, he's trying to get the alarm system removed that was aftermarket, so he's learning how to follow some wiring diagrams and figure out what's going on with his vehicle. Tronics department, and uh, this is the instructor, and he will tell you a little bit about what's going on. Hey, my name's Jay Wooten. This is the electronics class, and we're working on uh, how to do the resistance values in series parallel circuit. Reach the auto body and paint shop, and I have my instructor here that will tell you exactly what students are doing and what they're expecting. Hey, my name is Michael Bowman. This is Mr. Gary Ramey, my volunteer. And what the students are doing today, they just got done doing a headlight restoration on this Mazda Miata. And uh, they're out here just really finishing, cleaning it up at this point. Um, these guys are brand new and have just started in this group. Uh, so we've not really got into the auto body part of it yet, but we're getting there. Thank you for joining me on this tour. I hope that you saw some things that may interest you or may interest any student. Uh, it's a wonderful school, a great opportunity for students to gain uh, a career, a great opportunity for students to gain skills, and a great opportunity for students to be productive in life. Again, thank you, and come anytime.